everyone welcome back to my channel life with Shia Rochelle thanks so much for stopping by so I just wanted to come on really quickly and share with you some new things that are being used in my plan world currently and those are my Hobonichi Mega Weeks just started using it yesterday I've set it up for 2021 as a self-care journal self-care mental health tracker all the things and so that's what this is going to be and i didn't i kept it really minimal to be honest this is probably the most decorative that you'll see this this um page right here um i just i like decorating this page on the hobonichi for some reason and i don't know exactly what i'm going to be doing on the your your look ahead whatever this is called yearly overview i don't know what i'm going to be doing on this page so i'm not even going to guess but here i'm going to be tracking things that i can use dots on such as my cycle um and i actually love the dots that i use for tracking my cycle i got them from some shop that i can't remember on um etsy Kate Planner Kate or something like that I think it was called um, but this is just like perfect I have a couple of them and I think I'm gonna probably go and see if I can buy another one <laughs> just in case you know you never know I'm such a, not a hoarder but because I'm using them I'm gonna use them but at the same time like what happens when she stops selling them or what happens when she decides she want to close her shop down I don't want to be in the middle of that <laughs> anyway that's what I'm doing on my monthly pages for this planner and then we get to the daily pages and i've decided that i'm going to use a portion of this side for tracking and then the bottom portion of it is going to be a recap of the week for my mental and self-care needs it's going to be like what worked what didn't work and what do i need work on um that's a method that i kind of picked up from journal jot and jive that those three questions are questions that she uses a lot when she does her journal moments journal um journal um videos and and such and so that's what i'll be doing on a weekly basis in here to kind of help myself improve um with you know uh, different things that i deal with and um just you know want to be a better individual and then on this side i'm going to be putting a gratitude statement and right now i'm doing one well with high and low moments for the day i don't know that i'm going to keep it that way i might just say i might just do gratitude i might do high and low moments and keep it like it is this week i don't know that might change over time but right now that's what i'm doing a high and low moment and my gratitude statement and so what i decided because this is a bit much to be doing every week i decided to pre-fill every week for the current month with my tracker except i didn't fill it in because i don't know that i'm going to be tracking the same thing every week we'll have to just see for that and i'll do that month by month but so i'm not waiting until the last minute i'm just going to do one month at a time um instead of one week at a time so that is all as far as what's in here so far and then back here i'm going to be putting like journal moments collections whatever the case may be and then in the very last page that i have anything on back here I have my book reading tracker, which I will use because I do have a goal for book reading for next year. So that'll go here. And moving on into my spiral bound planner. This is a Gold Mine and Coco daily planner, um, which I got this one in my Gold Mine and Coco um, fall treasure chest box. And then I, I looked at it, I, I did a mock planning, a, a mock um, layout in it, and I mean, it was a real layout for that day, but I did just one to see how I would like it. First of all, this paper is just like so bomb. It's, okay, so either I'm on two, two extremes. I have to have thick paper with a nice grit to it or super thin paper that's like Tomo River paper. And this paper is so nice i love it so much it's everything i love her layout i think it's simple enough to where it's 
structured, but it's easily manipulate. Um, you can manipulate it easily if you'd like to, um, to change things as you saw, I did on that mock layout. And so if you notice, I'm using this planner starting this month in December. I'm not waiting until January, even though it's for January. And I'm using this planner also starting in December because I want to get a feel for it before January starts. And so it's undated. So why not? So this is my monthly layout in here, which I did this this morning. So it's not really anything on it yet. But um, this is what my monthly layout looks like in here for December. And this was what my first actual um, day looks like in here. So this is the only thing that would really, that's annoying. These um, coils, when you're trying to flip it around, these coils can be a mess. And this is with any coil bound planner, to be honest, all of them like this. They all do it. So that's the that's something to get used to if you're thinking about going into a coil bound planner and you not, you've not used one in the past, definitely consider that part. But I really love the planner. I really love the paper. I love the layout. Um, and like I said, you could do so many different things with it. Even though it's structured, you don't have to use all of the functions all the time. It just works for me. And so I hope it keeps working because I did, this is a six month daily. And it's, this is thick, right? To be six months. But um, I bought the other six months. I bought another one so that I could have a whole year um, in here. And I don't even know why I always play myself, but I do have a goal every year. And I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to being able to do it. I have a goal of being able to complete books because some things I use, they can't fit a whole year in it, let alone a quarter. But I have a goal of completing my books and anything that is 12 months using all 12 months in it. And so that's where these come in so this is starting in december and this book will go through may and then the next one i have will go from june through november and then november i'm gonna have to figure out when i'm gonna do again and this this is the only thing that won't be ending in december that i'll be using so we shall see so i'm starting my december out with my daily planner i am continuing to use my um Hobonichi Cousin, currently for memory keeping. Um, and I'm going to be using this starting now for my self-care and, and um, mental health. Um, and so that's what I'm using right now. There's a couple of more things. I'm going to continue to use my Hobonichi Cousin and next year. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to use it just yet. I have a new one. It's right here. I know how I want to use my trackers in it. Like I plan on using these as this as a, tra as a tracker for sure. But I don't know exactly how I'm going to use the months. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to use the weeks. I kind of want to use my days in here for memory keeping. But I'm, I'm still unsure. Like I really think that's what I'm going to end up doing. A memory keeping in here. And then I'm going to probably use a Stalogy for an actual journal. So I don't know, guys. We shall see. There's a lot in my mind going on. I um I have my goals, collections, and finances, like my overview of my finances. I have that in a B6 strategy. That's what I plan to use. And I just recently set that up. That's what I plan to use. I guess I'll show you that since, since and because this is a nine-minute video and this will take another, what, probably like two minutes. So I set this up and this is my... This is going to be for 2020 starting in 2020. I mean, 2021 starting in 2021 for my goals and finances and references and like family care and stuff. So just a quick flip through of how this is looking. And then January is the only month that I have set up so far. And now I have space in here for like to-do lists and such and a recap day. And then it'll start over all the way for 12 months. And then I have this section here, which doesn't have anything in it yet or purpose. 
But then I have this section here for my bills. It's just blank sheets of paper right now, but this is the cover page for it. And then I have, and I, I, I did do this. I labeled all of them. Labeled, labeled all the months. And these stickers are from my uh, friend, um, Planner Mom of Six with Love Like Christ which is her shop on Etsy. Um, whenever she brings it back online or comes available with her stickers, that's where you'll be able to get them from. And this section right here is for my daughter's health. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know I have my daughter's a type one diabetic and there's a lot of things that I have to kind of like stay on top of with her for 2021. This is where that information will go. And then I have a, a section, a smaller section for my other family members. For my son, my, my sons, my daughter, and my husband. And that's here. And that'll be for like doctor's stuff. Like just different things. Like all kinds of things. It's just like pages for them for referencing things for them individually. And then I have an actual reference section. And this is going to be where, this is where my passwords and account information and um, like phone numbers and stuff for like my, the companies that I, um, like my household expenses and things like that. All that kind of thing is going to go back here in this reference section, but that's what is in this book. And this is a B6 allergy and I'm really pleased with the layout and how I have it set up and I borrowed some pages like all of this I took out of another planner that I was using. I took this out of another planner that I was using. Like, I love being able to do that kind of stuff when you are using a bound book. The things that you tip in. So, that is what we have here. So, we got my gold planner. We have my mental health and self-care planner. We have my daily planner my memory keeping i think i'm going to do like weekly overview memory keeping and tracking of certain things in that and likely this is going to go back in here um this is what the current one looks like look at that beauty y'all look at that isn't that just gorgeous <laughs> I didn't use this one all the way through. You can catch a previous video of mine showing how I repurposed a lot of my bound books. Um, I stopped using this in like March or April and then I started back in September. And so I really filled up all these pages in between with notes and lists and ideas and Bible study moments and all kinds of things. And now I'm in December and this is the last month and it looks like I've been using it all this time when I really haven't. So that's that thanks so much for watching guys i will catch you in the next video it's been fun and remember to stay under the blood of jesus and um be blessed bye